Hello and welcome to the 87s in all right, Dover. I'm kind of catching up here. It was a bit of a last second sign up. I just got home. I was out. I was not home. And, uh, okay. and Jeremy Freer from Gavin's community and Nick's community and everything. And he's got his own channel said he was going to run this, and I definitely wanted to run this at some point this week. So I kind of like rushed home in order to make my way here. I have no lapse of practice, so who knows if this is even going to go well. I've done this combo before, but I almost never just enter a race without getting any practice at all, so who knows if we're going to be okay or not. Hopefully it'll be alright. Those are my first laps. Like I said, I never do that. It does not feel too comfortable to be just jumping into the car. But I guess that's not too bad. Got ourselves a P4 time. 25.196. Yeah, pretty strong top end. He mentioned... Yes. Uh, Philip McCandless is in here. I'm more familiar with his brother Blake McCandless, and if he's any, but if he's anything like uh, he is in the '87 car, probably gonna kick all our butts. So, all right, it's gonna be tire saving a big thing. We'll practice a green flag stop here. Just gonna have to take it easy. Very uh, low pit road speed. Okay. I was able to pull it off there. Whew. Needs a uh, second to breathe. It's fine, you got loads. Just because it was not exactly completely ready. Still gotta get volume all set up and everything. And uh, maybe get some practice in. Three, two, one. Right All right, volume sounding a little bit better. We will get on on track and get some practice in. Not too far off pace, thankfully, despite zero practice. About a, a tenth off of pull time, and uh, not going to be wanting to drive all that hard during the actual race itself, anyway. This tire saving is huge here. This is actually a very good combo. Both Nick and Gavin are great races, it looks like. This week, so... Sorry for the long pause. I'm kind of just trying to absorb as much information as I can before heading into this thing. I think I'm going to lower my brake bias. I don't know if this sticks or not. but I'll make sure it's good before we actually enter the race. And I'm uh, going to be going much softer. Hopefully no one runs me over. That's the end of the session. Okay. But... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we had to scramble to get here on time, but um, kind of like the way the brake buys felt there. We'll take it, kind of just getting everything gathered. All right, hopefully we'll have a green race. Seems like these races can either be real messy or you can get some good runs, so. Oh, he's right. We got some fast guys. Haven't even really looked at who all is in here. All right. Good luck to him. Is that an ass guy in it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chat's on. Everything's set up properly. Session last lap is what we're going to want. And uh, let's get this thing done. I'm excited. Like I said, um, love this combo. Hopefully it'll be a good race. Hopefully my stuff's recording. Hold on just a moment. It looks like it's 
recording just fine. I don't know if that shows up on screen what I did there, but I was just checking to see if my microphone was working. That would be nice for the microphone to record. All right. I don't like this feeling of not being fully prepared. Like, even if I've been to a combo a bunch of times, I like to try to get the full 30 minutes of practice if I can, once the session opens up to sign up. Um, it just allows me to practice my hot laps and then you know, get kind of accustomed to the car, especially like the 87, which doesn't really drive much like anything else in the game. In the simulator, in the i racing, <laughs> and uh, sometimes you just want to get kind of used to how it feels again. But feeling okay. We got uh, ourselves some green flag pit stop practice, couple laps, and still able to, uh, to qualify. Okay, so I will take it. And everything is ready to go. Good luck, y'all. In terms of crew chief and such. Yeah, good luck, y'all. The number seven says be easy, so I'm going to be easy this race. Good yeah, luck out there. And. I want to say good luck, have fun. Don't burn them tires up. <laughs> Hello, says don't hey, bring Chad, tires up. Are, are you the, the Chad that was um, racing with Nick Nevin earlier this week? Uh, maybe I'm racing at all times. There was a Chad that raced with like a year or two that raced with him. Green flag, green flag. All right. Off and going. Be real careful with the tires here. Maybe it was even a little bit aggressive on throttle there more than I want to be. And uh, try to get on the right rear if possible. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. Try not to turn it too much. Someone start from the pits, I guess? And they're just going to be right there, too. Sliding up right in front of us. Okay. Thank you, sir. Whatever that was. Gavin got run over by someone. Looks like I'm about to get run over by someone, too. I'll let you buy here, too. I'm saving tires. He goes on by. Thumbs in Victor. We did not hear that. P5. That was a 26.6. Well, apparently I can't hear it. But <laughs> don't know why. Did he actually say something? I thought he just did the thank you thing. Where actually, when you're right, name three here. Yes, we tend normally guys do that, so it's not a lot of chatter, but it's more of the same thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I heard you that time. Victor don't play too much. Alright, feeling okay. I think I'm happy with how I'm saving tires at the moment. Being patient to get back on throttle. And getting on the right rear on exit. See how Jeremy's feeling. If he wants to go a little bit quicker, I will let him by, of course. It's like he's getting overtaken by a couple guys, maybe a couple of guys who want to go a little bit faster. So keep an eye on that. Alright, so nice turn, middle late corner. There's no wheel involved there, no steering wheel. That was 
Jason Clapper. I haven't seen you in a while. I'll use the throttle, which is exactly what I want. B5. That lap was at 26.6. Alright. Feeling good. Um, thankfully, I have done this combo a couple times, like I said before. So the lack of practice, not the worst thing in the world. Didn't take long for the neurons to connect in my brain. <laughs> How this uh, usually feels. So letting the banking carry me. Gavin's uh, race was a good indicator on how important tire saving can be after the guy got into the back of him because uh, Gavin was apparently, quote unquote, going way too slow. <laughs> he like passed him like two laps later with better tires, so I would like to be the one passing people with better tires rather than the one getting passed, if at all possible. And uh, 10 laps into this thing, feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's good about coming with me. Oh, we got something going on behind us. I saw some maybe get loose. That felt good. On the right rear there. And uh, they're not getting too far away. Even though it feels like I'm driving like... 40% at most. It feels like they're not driving away much at all. I believe that is the leader still within our view, so... That was a Everything going according to plan. Got ourselves some nice space here, too. That's always nice. Not having, not having to keep an eye on anybody. Just kind of focusing on my own line. It's good for us. So far, so good. Green flag. I love it. Like I said, seems like these races can use either uh, be a wreck fest or. Lots of green racing. Right now it's shaping up to be lots of green racing. So, Big fan of that. We got someone coming out of the pits. Getting kind of close to the racing surface. Made me a little nervous there, but he was good. And uh, holding on to a top five is what we are doing right now. Not feeling much pressure behind. Four, four gallons is kind of interesting. If this goes green all the way, there's maybe a non-zero chance we can save that much. Seems like a lot, and maybe we'll have to check in later. But that's not an impossible amount to save. Now the tires, though, that might be impossible. Now that I think about right, it, so. That's good consistency. Keep it up. In uh, Gavin's race, Lewandowski had like 30% better tires than everybody in the field, which is absurd. I don't. I don't know if I've seen anybody that can save tires better than he can. Your last lap time was that. So that is kind of like the gold standard for tire saving. Probably can only hope to get about that much out of your tires in terms of long-term health. Next turn. It's been good. You can really tell when you overdrive this place too, because it'll get mega tight. So, really enjoying the way the way this feels right now.
And we'll see if we catch anybody ahead. I'm not sure. They seem to be doing an okay job saving tires as well, just from my vantage point here. Doesn't seem like anybody's doing anything too crazy, like entering low and sliding all the way up the track or anything. So, um, we might not get huge gains or anything, but feeling okay with the spot I am at right now. Slid it a little bit too much there. Don't want to do that. It's good to be on the right rear, but don't want to be sliding around necessarily. Twelve behind us. Kind of holding around half a second. Or so. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I don't think there's any point where you use your tires. Like some uh, in some races, Looking maybe you want to save tires and then use them up at some point. I don't know if there's any point you want to do that with this. I think you just... Well, I'm glad it wasn't just me that seen that. Hit a consistent pace. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Okay, blinkers. Ooh, okay. Getting real loose. Well, you just disappeared is all. I'll take no good. I, uh... I believe I've been in a race with I got a Phil note. before, you in your bathroom? and he was like leading or something and then blinked out. Uh, no. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I feel like that's no, a memory I have. So I mean, maybe he might have troubles with connection. Kind of does. Might be interesting. Something he to could keep, have uh, a laptop mic or something. An eye on. Sounds like he needs a couple pictures on his wall. Or a couch or something. Alright. They're kind of pulling away ahead. Maybe I could be better about saving tires in a way that also allows me to be faster. <laughs> plenty of guys can do that crazy thing where they're fast but also saving tires. I don't know about that. You want my go. You have pressure tire. So, obviously lots of conversation about tires in this race. Probably going to be the most used word in this video is tires. But that's a big name of the game, not only at this track with this car, but just at, with this car in general. Tires are a huge thing in this vehicle. Man, that, that guy behind is like looping it out of the corner every every lap. I think he finally got a little bit too sideways there, though. Come on, dude, why the fuck did you turn back on the track? Most difficult my left wheel was broken and I couldn't. That was fucking retarded. Oh, sorry about the. We're turning locker down and reset. Fuck that much all in my way. So unfortunately not green the whole way. That's okay though. We'll get ourselves some da 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 right side tires. Because that's faster than four tires in this car. For some reason. Dude, give him a break. He hit the wall really hard, like his tire was broken. He couldn't turn. Well you have a brake pedal though. I don't know what happened, so I can't comment. On the break. Have a great night. And we all know these things don't stop very well, so get the guy break. Come on, ladies, get going. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. We pull you to the end. Wait, you sound like you're still swimming with your brothers and, brothers brothers and sisters.
This guy's going two miles an hour under the speed limit for some reason. No, I can only go 35. Eight box team, 10. Sorry, I didn't mean to tap you. Five. That was that good, man. I'm sorry. Three. Two. I just gave you One. Right here. Holy hell, man. 68-63. So I can actually go a little bit harder, maybe, on entry. Y'all race this an awful lot. I know what some of you do in here. There's always a caution between lap 20 and 30. Every damn race. Just a heads up. You know that you only have one set of right side tires remaining. Line up. Y'all know that. Catch up. 15. Car. It's always. Yeah. Yeah. Got to weed out the tryhards. All right. We're going to go a little harder this time. We're going to be driving a little looser thanks to the right sides. And it looks like we saved okay. First run. Go ahead and get the tires out there. Sixty-five, sixty-nine. I said. 569. So it could have been easier on exit, maybe. 85, 85. 85, 85. Yeah, some people are doing better than I am, sounds like. 78, 78, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, I've been abusing mine. What they ain't gonna say what it is. Oh my goodness, he's blinking behind us. They weren't kidding. Man, I try to take care of mine, like, really well. Like, I don't push it at all. Because I know these sometimes these things can go green all the way. It's fine, you got loads. Yeah, I was in the very back, about to, about to get lapped at 85, 85. Huh. Well, when you're trying to keep up with first and second, and then Victor up here, like, going mad and fast. Hey, Kenny, what happened, man, coming in the pit today? Was that was a blind spot or something, or what? Full course yellow, pits are open. That was a bit of net code, and I'm not sure what happened. Pitting halfway green. Interesting. Planning on pitting halfway. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So he was going a little harder. I was on the I was same, same exact track. I don't know if I was planning on pitting it halfway or if I was planning on pitting at some point. I don't think I was going to make it the whole way on tires. But I don't know if I ever expected to anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, what Philip said, because I know there's, there's a guy who's really good at saving tires, uh, I think it was Lewandowski, I'm sure a lot of people even know, know him, um, he about. actually took two at around this time, and his left side, his left front was at 17% at the end of the thing, and he's really good at saving tires when he was that low, so, warning. I think I should be okay, 81, 83, three laps, we'll see though. I'm gonna do second gear start. Maybe I need and I first gear. I was on turn that too, so I get it. My rear is turned dead right as I'm going green. Going green. This can't be good. The pace car is in. He might want to get that fixed. Green, green, green. Let's go. Okay, you are the leader. Hey, good. We got a good jump, I think. Good enough, anyway. You're leading. I'm gonna wait for the next crash, and I'll get in for two minutes. So, like I said, we're gonna go a little harder this run. We'll see how that goes. One really blinking behind Man, us. Man, you're doing some cool moves there, uh, number one. Yeah, I've never seen someone do a kickflip in one of these cars.
He's having some connection issues. Hopefully that sorts itself out. Would hate to see him. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing the quality like that a little bit. Wouldn't hate to see him have to back out of the race. That was a Easy. Okay, so now we're going to try to maintain a little bit. Probably back it down now. A little bit more than I did on the start of this run. Instead, just maintain if we can. I think uh, right side is the way to go. Just, if only, to make the car looser. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll overdrive it. We'll find out. Pulling away at the moment, though. So maybe that means I need to back down more. Oh boy, the relative's going crazy. There's a spaceship up there. <laughs> yeah, totally not distracting. Got a rocket man up there. You just done 26.9. <laughs> Ryan Newman's in this race? We got Rocket Man in here? And the Houdini. So, I legitimately can't. I thought for a second he got passed for a second, and I, I don't. I legitimately have no idea. Looks like he's still in second. Brandon, if you really want it, I'll let you have it. No, you're good. Just try every line. Kind of hard to maintain. A distance if you don't know where they are. That lap time was twenty seven point zero. Yeah, good luck to the two getting around them. I was in a race with him earlier today and he didn't have this kind of an issue, so I don't know what's going on there. Was yeah, it was fine zero. until, uh, you know, just now. You guys, that'd be land slow. Traffic coming up. Trying to keep my wheels straight somehow. <laughs> oh, got loose on exit. Just thinking too much about what he was doing. Your lap time was 27.2. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Mario Earler. Yeah, no problem, John. <laughs> He's blinking so bad, dude. It's pretty distracting. <laughs> Like I ha I'm trying to keep an eye on him and maintain uh, a distance, but half the time when I'm able to glance up, he's not there. Like, I can only glance up so often, too, you know? Okay, point three back right now. Thanks, looks like. You've just done a twenty-seven point one. I don't know if you can tell, but I raced the car to me to test the walls. 
<laughs> I see a 4X wing coming for the two car. Okay. Got back a tenth or so back there. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Oh, got too low. That's not good. That was that ruined that whole entire lap. That was bad. Probably was bad on the tires. I just got too low. Mid late corner. Got too close to the apron and it really messed up my whole angle. That lap time was twenty seven point four. Is he making a pass back there? Can't tell. That lap time was 27.2. Pass for second place, maybe? No problem, man. I'm just trying to keep it on the track at this point. He's back, I think. Oh my god. Two tires, I think, are doing okay. I think these guys are just faster than me, so even if they pass me, I'm not even so sure it's because of the two tire call. Now you're blinking crazy, dude. I'm literally looking at my latency bar right now. It's not moving. My quality bar is not moving. And everybody on my end is completely stable. Like, I can see everybody. No one's disappearing or anything. I don't, I don't understand it. There's two types of latency. One coming in and one going out. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really do anything about it, though, at this point. I just got the black flag that says I need repairs. I gotta come in. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, you're not blinking anymore now. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah. I know I got plenty of witnesses on this one. No, I know you're not making it up. It's That's half distance. You know, the fuel's okay. I mean, obviously, if you got the run or trying to get position, like, I tried to get the fuel with some of the room, but. Yeah. Sounds like he's handling yeah, it. Looks like he's up at the move up. Go ahead, but. Some slow down low. <laughs> it's kind of true. Oh no, I hit the apron again. Well, I'm like, Stop it. Stay tuned or how they or something like that. Like, I was already down the back, but. So I'm kind of in a point where I'm not, you know, blocking people and while we're kind of in the bottom, but I mean, if any of y'all get around me, I'll try and give it a little bit extra room. All right, we're over halfway through this okay. thing. Too low. Hey, feels good. Can we hold on? For the rest of this thing. I hope it goes green. Even if, uh... It ends up not being good for me that it goes green. I hope it does. Kind of driving a little bit higher up. So I can get that cut down on exit. Well, I keep barely touching that left side with the, with the apron. Half a second back. Uh-oh, we had something happen. We got someone with a blown engine. Didn't bring out a caution. There's a wheel loose on the back. Didn't bring out a caution, but we had some serious contact in some way or form, I assume.
And we're gaining back a little bit, it looks like. Love it. Means I can maybe back down a little bit, potentially. All about maintaining. I don't even feel like I'm going hard though. It feels like I'm just being doing my best to be consistent. It's feeling pretty good. No tire warnings yet. That's always a good thing. I blow my tires way too often in this series. I feel like I'm doing okay right now though, but smash cut to me having a blown tire at the end. It would not be the first time I thought I was doing okay and then blew a tire. Go ahead, inside eight. I'm just riding. That lap was 127.6. Thank you. Nice is zooming right along. So we get plenty of green laps. Tires feel good still. We'll set the apron there, but did not, thankfully. Just using the tiniest bit of throttle, kind of mid-corner, just to keep some more momentum, but not enough that it's going to be hurting me, hurting my tires mid-corner. And then waiting for the car to feel like it's ready to take the exit, and then that's when I start getting more aggressive on the throttle. Because that means, once it's kind of ready to turn, that means I'm going to be driving off the right rear on exit, rather than the not right rear. So. The gap to Farlet behind is increasing. It's now 0.9. Love this combo though. Definitely very underrated. Have had so many great races here. Um, oh god, he's gone again. Oh god, he's gone again. <laughs> I'm assuming that's referring to the number one of McCandless. Hey, if they want to start battling for position though, they have my approval. Like any time to get close to the two. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of in a pack. I'm going to go high this time and three and four and kind of follow in the back of it. Sounds like, uh, if I understand what he's saying, it sounds like he's going to be given lots of room. Because it was connection, this very classy move. Uh, I could have. I just went in the pit for four and a half minutes and took the black flag to repair as I came back on the track and just got disqualified for ignoring the black flag, which I don't have for two laps. I'm in a fucking female when he sends the pictures. Did you take all of your tire traffic care of the car? Uh oh. You may have had, uh, it'll give you the meatball if you blow a tire, and if you don't have any tires blow, then you can't change it. The answer, Barlett, behind is now, not for tight. I need to take care of your tires. I think I'm going to blow my tires. That was too early to get that call. See, I told you. I told you it was going to happen. I told you I was going to get a message about my tires. Or, I told you I was going to blow my tires even though I thought I was doing okay with them. <sighs> I don't know if I can make it to the end. When does it give you a message? It gives you a message like when you hit what, 25%? I 
That's pretty low. Back it down a little bit here. That lap was at twenty seven point three. Got some lap traffic coming up. Hmm, can we make it? You've just done a twenty seven point four. Have to make our way around lap traffic here. Hopefully, they don't make it difficult for us. Want to get held up at all, especially since we're now being hot. Since I'm trying to back down much more. Get to do the cut down I like to do. Lose us a little bit of time. Can't wait to blow my tire again. Happens pretty much every other race in this series. You'd think I would learn. But then I get into the next race and I'm like, hey, I'm doing well. And spoiler alert, I wasn't doing well. But we're going to try to last it to the end here. It's that lap down guy that was very upset. Sounds like he had a rough race. I just hope if my tires are going to blow. It happens at a time where... I, uh... We're going to need rubber soon. Uh, Take it easy now. Me. Uh, it happens at a time where I'm not crashing anybody. I feel like with uh, the way the car's feeling, I probably hurt the right front more than the right rear this time. But I could be wrong. We're just going to run our line, make him get a run on us. And hopefully if I do blow a tire, it'll be within the, the last three laps or whatever, so that way... I can finish it up without having to hit the pits. Interesting line from the 19 in front of us. Hopefully he'll let us by. Get Just there. I guess he's not going to let us by.
prevent me from doing the line I want to run. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Uh, go low, Tommy. I'm conserving big time here. Got tapped in the rear, thankfully not too hard. Oh boy. Lots of drama. Beat me into this thing. Always could bring out a caution too. That might save our race. Seems less likely though than just getting past and blowing a tire. You just get taken out. They want you in single file. Pit road is now catch up nineteen car. Rip. Catch up eleven car. Catch up one. I was just waiting for the last ten laps and I was going to be a Nice dive bomb, dude. Dude, there was no down ball. You just turned down. Go back and watch replay. I took my line like I always do. Yeah, and if you took your line, I was there. Not before we got to the corner, you weren't. That's called a dive bomb. Okay. Uh, I hate to say it, but my perspective, it ain't F1. Yeah, you're there, man. You can deny it all you want to. So super rad, cool of them to do that. The leader, Barlett, is pitting. Watch your speed, you got plenty of fuel. Pit box team, 10. Just can't get a run off the exit, gotta stuff it in there. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Cool, two and a half minutes. We were gonna make it to the end. I'm pissed. I'll be honest. Pretty. Well, I don't upset. know that I would have made it to the end. Yeah, it's looking like I was going to, as well. Oh, clear. It would've been Punch super it. close for me. 24-33. These things are hardy, I'm hoping the two. 11-28. <sighs> I was gonna make it, I had 6% left on my right front. 43-45. Forty-five. Thirty-two. Catch Man, it seems like tires are wearing more this time than they did last time we were at our these things were at the My left sides were worse, but everyone's talking about right sides, so. Yeah, because I remember the first time if you or you could save fuel and you'd have to save a little bit more and you could make it the whole race and the green without saving. But you'd have to give up to a little bit too much time to save the tires to make sure they made it a hundred. Gotta go now. Dude, my, my tire is at 314 degrees. Oh, 375 for outside. Super high. Yeah, my right front's at 397 for the outside. <sighs> 414 here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are smoking your tires. Man, Steering feels a little off. Easy, That's not good. Like shit. Same here. Like I wasn't even pushing it. Like I was, I was backing off. I was even. Yeah, I don't know I'm what the RPMs right. are supposed to be in this thing, but that doesn't seem right. I just wanted to push it like that. I, I just wanted to keep up this time. I don't know why our engine would be damaged, but I don't put anything past. That's unfortunate. It happened, dude. Yeah, I can promise you, I was not trying to bomb you. I was taking the corners like I was. So you're inside, but unfortunately. Yeah, it's alright. I'll, I'll look at it. I just feel like 
I didn't get a call until we were in the entry of the corner, and at, at that point, I'm set on taking my line. I know Victor doesn't need me to bat for him because I don't know him, Adam, but I've raced with him enough to know that he he's clean. We all make mistakes, bro. I, I will say this, and this is just my experience. I mean, it it doesn't matter how thin of a driver you are. There's every once in a while you'll be like, I can get underneath him before the corner, and but if you are not underneath him before the, the guy in front of you starts turning into the corner, it is technically a dive. You may not be intending to do that. I haven't seen it yet. I, I will judge after the fact. I'm just kind of, I know Colton, and generally he doesn't call something like that unless he, he knows it. Um, but we'll watch it after. Get ready, going green. I don't know, I can be stupid too. <laughs> I'll take a look later, who knows? Post car is off, time to do your job. Hey man, we can all be stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we're going. Some of us. This feels weird. This car feels weird. But we're going. Inside. Clear. This car, it's the steering wheel's like offset or something. So he's got it there. So now I'm not gonna take one on the lot. Yeah, we we're we're missing straight line speed. It really looks like to me. Hey, go again. Oh, this thing feels weird. Feels like I'm driving the Arca car on the default like steering offset. Like my wheel has to be to the right on the straightaways. <laughs> Maybe it'll help me save tires to the end, I don't know. Look how so much slower we are. Keep high. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. This guy's not giving me any room at all, Jesus. We went from the lead to not lead. Hopefully we can at least hold on a little bit. Sucks. Really does. Thank you. The gap ahead is now 1.0 seconds. Not a problem. It's the wall ahead. Tend to go this time by. Usually this car is pretty sturdy. I'm I'm a little upset. It, it took so much speed loss from that. Just getting hit like that. I mean, I guess we hit the hit it pretty hard, but. I don't know. So they can uh, all have fun up there, I guess, while I'm back here. It's a tenth every straightaway, it feels like. Just done a 
is now 2.2. Let's take the inside, Tim. Should be able to hold on to hey. 11th at least, I hope. The gap behind is now 2.3 seconds. Car ahead. Oh my lord! I hate that so much. Oh, All I can do is laugh at that one. It's closed. Man, that was some great racing. That's changed everything up. I hope he's making a mistake and never did. Yeah, I think we're all pretty on par here. What? I think those are paid cards. Ah, uh, the closer you get, you made a loser right behind you. I'm sorry, not. That was a big wreck. Ah, uh, Philip, the closer you get, you made a loser. I was getting. I was, I was trying to put it right on the edge because. You know, if I was going to have to get the run off, I was going to have to kill the tires on exit. Um, so, I mean, I was just trying to use the intimidate button a little bit, see if I could just get the swirly that you held. Yeah, fine. Got the lucky dog. Let them pop. I don't even know what happened. Is it over? Do we get a green light checker? Lucky dog on the outside. There are no green light checkers. I think we're going green, though. I think we're going to get like one or two laps. Um, oh, sure. Maybe two or three laps. I also found taking two at least for like two or three laps, like if you're running balls out 100%, taking two is actually quicker. Because uh, there was a race earlier this week, like five to go, took two, and I was screwed by everybody. Um, I don't know if it's just like the extra piece on the left side or what. Yeah, I'm happy with my two tire call earlier in the race. It was working out pretty well for me. Yeah, as long as you save a little bit, because um, I've seen some guys they take two around lap 30 and then they'll pour the left front by the end of the race. <sighs> yeah, 23%, but I think I could have saved that to the end. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. You gotta let Jeremy by? With his blown motor? Or wait, where's he going? Listen, you guys know, I know that I am blown. Um. <laughs> I will pull to the left on the on the start. Ten four. Yeah, it's smoking real bad. Oops. Sad. I have a meatball, but the thing is, with a meatball, I can be, I'll be put to the back of the line or the the last turn lead lap. If I pit, I'm stuck. Oh, you don't have tires. My engine's blown. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Typically ends the race, yeah. If you have a meatball in your engine zone, you got at least 10 to 30 minutes of repairs. And I'd rather... Yeah, I see what he's saying. I'd rather finish last car in the lead lap than have that kind of a, a situation. It's are open. Yeah, you're fine. Your car landed on me, so I don't expect a rocket ship when we go back green anyway. This is going to be interesting. I don't know who's going to be way off pace. I know I'm a little You'll off pace. probably be faster than me. This is, uh, it's going to be weird. There was just nowhere to go. Like, I tried to hold it down, and then the eight slid back down. No fault of his. One to go. Take time by. Race cars coming well, in. Hell, I went airborne on that. We got guys ahead of us that said they were airborne. <laughs> so. I had a good run recently of, of good races, and then... Happen. We're gonna have people all kinds of different levels of speed. Like we did a gap the field. That's pretty good. Pretty good run. Yes, yeah, that's been a bad race so far. <sighs> No idea how this is gonna look. I saw we have time. Yeah, I've seen it. No immediate caution. The pace car is in. Come on, go. Green flag, green flag. You're in the top ten. Damn it, bad start, my bad. 
Down. Man, I got a God damn it! Hold your fucking brakes. <laughs> oh man! You work. You knocked your wheels out of alignment. Go ahead, Vicker. You deserve that one. Oh. Yeah, I'll turn up the start anyway. Thank you, Philip. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Thompson, it's just yeah, good, good work, too. What even happened there? Like, we got someone sitting in the driving line yeah, going 20 off the pace. The green, but I had to make that move. You were slow on the start. Yeah, and that's right off my back, man. I get it. I would have done the same. Open. What a garbage so ending to this race. It was going just fine. Run and uh, top line was just like a turn on the bottom. The run out of the run out of two and uh, three, man. If you get it right, it's just it's too fast. Half nine, eleven, Frustrated, not even paying attention. Hey, ran even a while. Might have to run some more. Man, this is my favorite series now, running these cars. Every race has been a banger, pretty much. It's been a really good series. When I said hold your brakes, I obviously meant hit your brakes. They did drop the person behind me, but... Cars that now used to be 14. I think it changes per track. Sixth place finish with a uh, I garbage, I torn up car. It's not even a bad finish, really, overall, but it's just like, uh, he's got absolutely thrown well, about you know, in the end here. Got the hang of Richmond. Atlanta, I love these cars in Atlanta. So, Dive Bomb McGee gets the win. Dude, seriously, I freaking hate Richmond. We'll see, I guess uh, I'll look at it, obviously, right but I certainly didn't hear a peep out of my spotter. Before we got into the corner. Just because you can drive down here doesn't mean you're entitled to your spot. I just, I just hate the, the kink attitude. I hate that. It's just not satisfying to drive for me. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Good work, everyone. Great racing. Didn't do it quite a bit. Yeah, great racing. You're on the outside this time. Keep digging. <sighs> Sixth place. There we go. It's over. There's the Bring flag. It it's over. Got him dive bombing you. Great Look job. You did really there. well. Catch the pace car. Half the 19 car. <sighs> Frustrating. Yeah. Me too. Sorry for swearing. God. P6. This race absolutely fell apart at the end. We'll look at it. I mean, this guy early on in the race was ready to run me over, and I very kindly let him by. Just decides to kill me later in the race. <sighs> Frustrating. I'm actually going to fast forward to when I got taken out. Just going to go ahead and give my opinion on the between the three and the two. Um, that was a bit of a dive bomb because your nose, Victor, was not in there until like after he was on the brakes and turning into the corner. Like, it's not a blatant dive bomb, but it was you, you were entering it um, deeper than him and under him when he was already turning into the corner. There was nothing he could do. I mean, I can swerve out of the way, but I'm not going to do that for him. I get it. I mean, that's a lot of times why guys stick the nose there just let you know, hey, I'm going down there. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I know you didn't mean to do it, but I feel like driving a lane down on the straightaway doesn't mean that you automatically get the space when we go into the corner is all. I mean, it's just a, it seems like we have different philosophies on what it means to be there. It's just, I understand, racing incident, I guess. Good win. Thank you. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, I mean, again, yeah, it wasn't intentional, so. It was a dive bomb. <laughs> I could say that now, but I don't want to start these, so. Good race with those. Yeah, that was a banger race for sure. <sighs> I mean, he's not there. He's not there. Yeah. He's he's not there. He doesn't get any more clear than that. I take my corner as I need to. I mean I can't be swerving around taking the high side when I don't need to. I'm trying to save tires to the end, so I'm taking my line and then he decides he's there. I mean I can choose to just accept being bullied into having to give him the spot and swerve right here but as far as i'm concerned he doesn't belong there so he probably asked any any two Honest heart. Good race. Whoops. Make it. Yeah, I mean, we still pulled it into P6, so. I mean, we wouldn't have if it weren't for the things at the end. Oh, yeah, I hit the wall harder than I thought I did. I really backed it up into the wall. Held it and then got below the apron. Really tore off the back end a bit, but all right, back to your regularly scheduled incidents. We're about lap five or something. Yeah, to the us. So hard. Hey, oops. All right, yeah, so of course check out uh, Jeremy's channel too. It's uh, Zanetti, I think. I'll put it in the description if I uh, remember. I should remember. <laughs> He's the whole reason I was at in this race anyway. So. I'll have his perspective up as well. So we got some wall hits early on. Probably try to skip ahead a little bit so we're not seeing too many of them. Dover's pretty good at dishing out some wall hits. Especially on the exit like that. Very easy to all of a sudden find out your car is not turning anymore. Just something about the way these, uh, the banked corners kind of exit there. You can just find yourself in the wrong spot, and it's just, once you reach a certain point, there's almost nothing you can do to prevent your car from just launching itself into the wall on exit. So. That's why you'll see a whole bunch of these crashes.
And the thing is, like, even though I don't agree with the move the guy made, sorry, I'm still thinking about the incident with the uh, number two, even though I don't agree with the move he made, I don't think he was there, I don't think he was entitled to that corner. I mean, obviously he didn't mean to do it. I know that f for a fact. It was an aggressive move, overly aggressive move, in my opinion, but he's not trying to wreck me. Oh, here's that incident they were talking about where he broke his tire. So we saw he was really getting loose for the past couple laps. Looks like he hits the inside wall there, and he probably doesn't even know it at this point, but he's not going to be able to turn the car anymore. His tire's broken. I can understand why these people are mad, because obviously that's a really horrible, you know, entering a little bit low for the corner, <laughs> but I don't think 12 knew that his tire was broken and it wasn't going to turn at all, and so just a really bad situation. Oh my gosh, the 13 <laughs> barely misses it. And then the 16, just wrong place, wrong time, understandably upset. Jeremy got it in too, and he, he saw what happened. He understood what happened. He was on the mic defending him, even though he got damaged from that too. Ugh. It's a really bad situation for everybody involved there. Stinks for the 12, because he was doing all right, just right behind us. So lap 33, getting back going. That was our first caution, I believe. So our two-tire call was able to get us up into the lead, got us the track position, and I knew two tires are pretty much just as good as four in this car. Sometimes better, sometimes worse, but usually pretty comparable. So that's why I took, I made that call, and I think it was the right call. Just, we got number two Uh, one blinking the whole time. Got more blinking back there. Blinking, you'll miss it. 16, I remember he was saying he was having issues like he, I don't know, blew a tire or something and then went to, t to get the tires to get rid of the meatball flag and then didn't have tires or something. I don't know exactly what happened to him, but you can see he's having issues. Number one doing kick flips. Number 16 doing uh, high line there. I thought he was going to get in the wall. He prevents it from getting into the wall. You can see guys are already losing all kinds of grip in their tires at this point in the run. Only about 20 laps into it. Oh, that's a broken car. Oh man, he killed it too. Engine's blown. That guy's going to blink. There's my tires hitting a critical point, probably about 50% at this point in the run. Assume my life left front. Everybody getting to that point in the run where their tires are starting to hurt. So we're going to see a bunch of nothings for a minute here. I'm going to go a little bit faster. Oh, we got some pitting going on. Oh! Oh, no! He does not make it. That sucks. Very difficult pit road to get onto here. You will see that a lot. Those barrels get a lot of action on pit entry. Tires, tires, tires. Wow, the one really fell back a little bit. It's because he had that group behind him and he let him by. Classy move, like I said. To know that he was blinking, and even though he couldn't see it himself, letting the whole group by. Very professional move. So respect to him. Still got P2 as well. I just realized we had two people with the same scheme in this race. The seven's got the same scheme as the two. It's funny. I'm like, I'm seeing double. Alright, so. Nothing going on there. Here's the two preparing to come get me. 
That's right, he did run into the back of me at some point too, just before he ran it in. When we were making it making our way past the lap car. I think I mean I think he was probably gonna be able to overtake me. I was gonna hold my line and keep it consistent and see what I could do, you know, make him pass me legitimately, but he didn't do that, so that's what happens when you, you don't do that, I guess. You just end up taking someone out, but just gonna make him try to get a run on exit and he didn't want to do it. So I trusted him too much to not do that. And he did that. So. That guy probably blinking some more. So is this it? No. Farther back. I mean, it was close. It's not like he was a, a horrible dive bomb. Jeremy kind of said it too. It wasn't like super egregious, but he wasn't there. I wasn't going to give it to him without him actually having a nose on me. I mean, we're coming to the end of the race. It's a race for the lead. I'm not going to pull over. So he, did. he pulled me over for me. I know I'm harping on it. I'm sorry. I'll shut up about it. <laughs> Just sucks. Being taken from the lead. And here it is. He wasn't there. <laughs> so we end up on the apron. Pretty lucky to be able to pull it back as much as I did. It was that huge wreck, which we're going to see in a moment here, that allowed us to do that. Bunch of guys getting damaged. And then we'll have to see what other that what that other thing was, too. Huge check up ahead or something. My bumper was flapping. <laughs> Open the trunk. We got that uh, monkey from Speed Racer in the trunk. What's that? What was that monkey's name? <laughs> He's peeking out and throwing oil slick back there. See, look. look. Look at that. The 14 knows how to do it. He can do it. Why can't the two car do it? Look, he got the nose on me. You know what I don't do? Take my normal line. I'm still harping on it. I know. <laughs> I'm just I'm having a laugh at this point. You having a laugh, mate? It's me. Coming up to the end of this thing, though, I think uh, we got one more caution, and it was the eight running over the nine. So, I mean, that's all that was. Just drives through him. No real explanation there. Oh, and then that was the huge wreck. Oh my god. It's just, there's not very much room to avoid here. I imagine Jeremy's trying to hit the brakes. Trying to turn down the best he can. Can't do it. 14, can't avoid him. 13 does the best he can. He probably avoided any major damage there. Slowed it down enough. Oh... Um, what else we got going on? So there's 13, and then the next car is me, and I had a little bit of gap, thankfully, so I could slow down. I'm hitting the brakes pretty hard. I'm like, oh, can't sl you can't slam on the brakes, because it will go around if you do that. 14 upset me a little bit by not holding the brakes, but we figured that out. And you see, he goes for all the way from the bottom of the track to the top for no reason. Like, can't be doing that, but... Oh, well. Uh, we make it through. In a bunch of spots late. And then we have the short run to the end where. What happens here? We've got this guy. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, guy that didn't hold the brakes. We got him having major damage. Probably not able to turn it very well. And he just loops it in front of the 13. 13's trying to hit the brakes. I, I couldn't see him. I was in my blind spot. You'll see here in the uh, cockpit. I don't see that he's getting sideways. I see him as like, okay, he's entering higher up the track. And so I'm thinking like, all right, I can maybe cut down here. I don't see he's getting sideways until it's too late. So uh, I wish I could have avoided it, but he's just completely in my blind spot when he's getting sideways. And I think it's probably right about here when I see a little bit of smoke and I realize like they're, in they're exiting the corner really slow. 
No, nah, I was I wasn't even looking over there. I was looking right here. Right around right here because I'm thinking like, okay, maybe I can get the 13 on exit. It's late in the race. We got what three laps to go. And I'm like, alright, I gotta go. And then that's when I notice. <laughs> and then uh I was upset at the time. But I don't think the guy behind had any choice either. So ignore what I said after that. Like, he probably didn't have a, ch a chance to slow down. Oh, yeah, no, he did. <laughs> he didn't lift at all. He just runs into the back of me at 1,000 miles an hour. So he could have slowed it down more. He thought he could get by, though, I think. And he just blasts me in the rear end and suplexes me into the wall. And then runs into the back of me again for good measure. I don't know why. But that was the end of the race. Um, somehow still got P6 after getting absolutely ripped apart. <laughs> but it stinks. I think I could have won this one. There was a chance. If not one, maybe P2. Who knows how the last 20 laps or so we're going to go. Uh, I was worried about the tires when I was running, but I think I probably could have held them on there. At least uh, until two, three to go, where I could have lasted it out. Um, then who knows how far I dropped, though. I mean, we will never know. We'll never know, because we got taken out. But uh, P6 could have been worse. Um, Jeremy, unfortunately, got caught in that huge wreck late in the race, along with about half the field. <laughs> but uh, good racing with him. Check out his channel, like I said, if you're interested in some more auto racing content. Or just to see another perspective of this race, or whatever you might want there. But that'll do it for my video. P6 fell apart a bit at the end there, after we got taken out. The race fell apart for everybody. But, you know, the first, the first part of the race was pretty good. And uh, I still enjoy this combo, even if it didn't go so well this time. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And I will see you next time.